Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. Now for the 47th episode, I'm going to analyze none other than T'Challa, also known as Black Panther, one of the main protagonists in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The king of a fictional country who is also a superhero, who helps to protect both his country and the earth in general from the forces of evil, T'Challa is easily one very memorable character, and my compliments and condolences to Chadwick Boseman, who tragically passed away to the colon cancer in 2020, and in this video it will be dedicated to him and to his special character, so we can understand T'Challa and his journey from a simple prince unaware of his own family's true origins, to the very hero and king that saved not only his country, but the entire world. Now it offers a duel. Let's start. T'Challa was born in 1980 in Wakanda, a fictional country somewhere in the southern Africa, to King T'Chaka and Queen Ramonda. Growing up, he also had a younger sister named Shuri, who was a pretty much genius among her people, and he grown up very close. Eventually, throughout his life, he grew very close to his parents and his sister, and to many other friends, such as the Okoi, who ultimately led the female guards. And eventually, by 2016, after his father sadly passed away, the child ascended to the position as the king of Wakanda. But here he came in conflict with the one person that would prove to be his first arch nemesis and the first threat to his power, his paternal cousin, Eric Killmonger, who ultimate, whose father was killed by his own father. And after T'Challa realized that his own father killed his uncle, Eric's father, and thus creating Eric into the master we see, T'Challa was willing to make amends with Eric and ultimately to make peace with him, resulting to a short confrontation between them, which led to Eric emerging victorious and T'Challa being thrown to on the, from the waterfall, only for him to survive and be rescued by his friends and family, and ultimately healed. And with Eric as temporary king of Wakanda, who tried to use his weapons in order to wage war with the entire world. And eventually T'Challa was held and treated back and healed in order by the border tribes, who separated themselves from the main Wakanda society for the past 10,000 years. These actions not only make that the tribe to be more friendly to Wakanda, but also brought them finally into the said country after thousands of years of isolation. And together, they officially banded up to stop Eric and for T'Challa to reclaim the throne and end Eric's madness, which led to Eric ultimately committing the unthinkable after he was beaten by T'Challa. And after now that T'Challa reclaimed the throne, he decided to have Wakanda to join the United Nations. After he realized that to a certain degree, Eric, despite his madness, was actually right about Wakanda's own isolationism. Eventually, he grew closer ties with the outside world and even the Avengers, as he eventually sheltered the Winter Soldier in Wakanda from the outside threats. However, by 2018, when Thanos started his madness in, in taking the Infinity Stones in order to kill half of all life, the Chala held the Avengers in order to take the Mind Stone out of vision, hoping they could in the process help to stop Thanos, only for it to ultimately fail, as after Thanos acquired all the Infinity Stones, he snapped half of the entire universe out of existence, and the Chala was tragically part of this half, with himself temporarily dying in 2018. And thus, T'Challa will remain dead for the next five years, as by 2023, the Avengers managed to travel to alternate realities to take the Infinity Stones in order to create a new Infinity Gauntlet and snap the rest back to existence, including T'Challa, who managed to reclaim once again back his position as King of Wakanda and help to stop an alternative version of Thanos who tried to use the stones to destroy the universe. And with this, T'Challa ultimately believed that he achieved his final year ever after. However, the even the tragedy struck again, as one year later in 2024, his daddy passed away to the cancer, the exact same thing that his real-life actor also suffered. And with this, the Chala officially perished at the age of 44, with his mother, Queen Ramonda, assuming the throne, and for one year, until she would eventually die too, and her, his sister Shuri would become the new Black Panther and assume the throne. So in the end, who was T'Challa? He was nothing more but a simple man who inherited an entire country, a man with him and he will use his power with responsibility and compassion and will confront the past demons of his own family. A man that could easily be called as one of the greatest heroes ever made in cinema. Thanks for watching everyone, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and have a nice day.